Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to um, scale and export a model from, uh, this is TrueSpace 7.61 Beta. Remember, it's out there, it's free, it's still usable, it's still running on Windows 10, so it's uh, pretty good to have. What you're going to do is you're going to go over to um, the tab that says TrueSpace uh, 6, because that's what we're going to use. And that's what we're in. Alright, and let me see here. Reset my grid a little. Now I'm going to go over here, and what I like to do is use a character to uh, scale my objects against, like say chairs and all that. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to find a model. So I'm going to go up my Goth Girl model. And sorry about that. So I got my Goth Girl model. Now I'm going to right click on the uh, selection arrow, and it brings up my object info. And now what I'm going to do, I'm looking for the size, and I want her, an average, the males inside there are, um, I have it left at meters, that's default, and the males are about 18 meters. So what I'm going to do is hover over the selector cage, and you'll see how the little um, pointer up there shows all three angles. That means it's going to scale it um, evenly. So I just hold down my left uh, mouse button, click and drag up near, and I want to take, I'll say right up around 18. Try getting as close to 18 as possible. So there you go. So that's going to be about the size of the average male. Now I'm going to go over here again, and just for the heck of it, the only thing I have textured right now, we're going to go with this toilet. Okay. And you'll still see it scales up here. Now I'm just going to kind of go again, hover over to selector cage here. Um, you see that it points in all three directions. That means it's going to scale uniformly. And I'm going to say the toilet may be about that size. I'm not exactly sure um, the size of the toilet. Now I can take her again, press the delete key, get rid of her, select my toilet again. The location. I'm going to move to zero. Enter. Zero. Enter. And if I scroll here, I want to make sure that it's sitting down on the grid. So there you go. So it's sitting on the grid. And now I'm going to go up here, and this is just so I can reset the um, the axis. You'll see the little, it looks like a little fan up there. That means it's in direct 3D render. I'm going to go here to where it says wireframe. All right, so now you see my wireframe of it. And I'm going to go down here and click on the, um, the axis, axes. And I'll click there. And if you look, it's, high, it's kind of hard to see, but it's actually highlighted in there. And you'll see the XYZ axis in there. And you can see it right there. And it's at zero, zero, but I want to take it down to the base of it. So, zero, enter. It goes down there. And then I'm going to click again on the axis to hide the axis. Alright, so that's pretty good. I will close this guy out here. Uh, close this guy out here. I'm going to go back to my... Uh, DirectX, Direct 3D rendering. And you'll see that there's my toilet. And uh, this isn't going to look too good in the game engine. I'm just really trying to sample it and see what I'm doing here. And now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go under the TS6 file to save. Because this is actually for the, uh, the other workspace side over here. Or the model side or whatever it's called. So T66. Alright, so I'm going to go down here. I'm going to save. I'm going to save it as an object. Shit. What are you doing? Save as object. Sorry. And I want to save it as a direct dex. Just for now, I'm going to save it out to my dex desktop. Low toilet zero x. That's fine. Uh, click on the settings. Now I want to export geometry triangulate the faces, store it as a single mesh, and export textures. 
and I usually leave a uh, inline material. Um, then you can go and change things like you can convert your texture, you know, to JPEG, ping, all this stuff. Um, I don't care to export the vertex colors to closest, you know, keep it at the closest um, by two. We don't care about the animation. So we're going to click OK. And I'm going to save it out. You can actually, if you want, save it out as a as a text but there you go I'm going to save this out and you'll see that I saved it uh, to the desktop here eh, that's my thing thing it's a uh, little toilet zero right there alright now I'm going to bring up copper cube there we go Okie doke. Enlarge that. Click on this guy. Delete him. And now I'm going to go here and import my static mesh. I have it back towards the desktop. And you'll see low toilet zero. Open. Now it just brought the toilet in. And let's see here try to put a character real close to him and now we're going to use the animated man and you'll see he's way down below it so let's try to go up and match him evenly with the toilet again like I said I it's the editors a little strange to work with but you'll see once I line these guys up I'm not going to sit here and play with it you'll see it's scaled pretty good to the character size um, a little side note like women you'll probably run around 15 units high the men are usually around 18 17 to 18 so alright guys that's real quick how to um, scale an object in true space export as a direct X and bring it in here alright guys um, this is Joe again Playing with Camp Studio, Copper Cube, True Space. Alright, guys, thanks for watching.